Welcome back to the RTF podcast to refresh your feed so you don't have to. My name is Matt, his name is Matt, and you're watching episode 65. Matt, <laughs> Matt take, how are you? take a good look. We are dressed to impress today. We're, dri- we're drippy. We're we are dripping. we are dripping In today. Finesse. For everyone watching, this is our official signature RTF merch. This is one of two pieces for our signature merch. You got the RTF dripping on the side on on, on the right here. You got the big text. Um, you got our logo, our nice refreshing arrow logo on the on the crest here. Um, these will be available on our website. Um, by the time this comes out, probably like a couple weeks after this comes out, um, just because we're waiting for our our uh, exclusive collab par- um, products, our sweaters, our hoodies, that those are going into production as well. That we're gonna be getting on the on the fucking on the road. Those are dope too. Um, I think I released those. No, I didn't release the designs yet. I'll probably release the designs on our social soon. So Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, those are dope I've as well. I've seen them. They, they're 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 pretty dope. They're sick. pretty sick. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. I, like, there's a design that he's gonna wear. I got a design. I'm gonna wear. Yeah, they're it's dope. A good time. It's a good time. They're sick. But yeah, you'll be able to check these out on our website um, very soon. It'll be like it's refreshingthefeed.com, but it's not launched yet. We're gonna launch it very soon. Uh, probably it'll be launched when this comes out. Actually, now stay, t- stay about. tuned, everyone. Stay tuned. Look at our. Keep um, in mind uh, Instagram. Instagram is the, fa- the place to find everything. Uh, yeah, we also exactly. have a whole bunch of other places. YouTube short, yeah, we have YouTube, shit, TikTok, a lot of shit there. Yeah. Um, but we'll probably have a little promo video. We'll oh, yeah. see. We'll see what's happening. Um, Matt, I want to. I want to jump into the biggest topic for. We're, we're jumping for us. The the largest uh, film. It couldn't geeks. get any bigger. Honestly, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania. This was the movie to tie the Marvel universe together after Phase, or uh, Endgame after Phase Four, Phase whatever. I think so. It is. I think so. Um, that's what they're saying. It's the close. It's the it's the Marvel movie with the, um, the most. I guess I don't know ties towards like the bigger picture. Yeah. Because everything else up, up to this point has been like standoffs and this and that and whatever and you know. Yeah. So um, let's get right into it. Yeah. Let's get I'll right into you, it. I'll give you my take. Yeah. Um, I want to hear. We'll it. Start with my take. Yeah. When did you see it? Sorry. The day it came out. Yeah. Me too. Or technically Thursday, Thursday night. February sixteenth. Yes. Okay. Thursday night. Thursday night. Yeah. 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 Thursday night. The three uh, D. Uh, no. Uh, Ultra AVX. Where? Uh, in a, a little further away. That's why we had to go to a, a theater further away, which oh. is kind of stupid. Which is kind of I. People don't like necessarily want 3D anymore. I most fucking of, hate 3D. Yeah, most people don't want it anymore. It's kind of like old news. Um, for all the people making movies, stop making shit in 3D. No, well, people do watch it. People, no. that's what I'm saying. So, people yeah, watch fine. it. People, I watched it. I paid money for yeah, the ticket. Yeah, yeah. But like, fuck off. I you bet it's a lot. Why? I bet it's a lot of work for less. You want to know why? Why? I wear glasses. You don't have this problem anymore. You should be able to. This is this is what I uh, I propose. Instead of wearing gla- like glasses on top of your glasses, yeah, you just put in like lenses. They have like these. They should make these like lenses that just go like in front of your glasses. But think about like how very many. thin, like yeah. paper thin. That just they just put on top like a like a almost like a sheet of plastic. There's too many prescriptions. I don't know. Like well, you no. have to know, like no, no, no. It wouldn't be a prescription based. It'd be exactly how oh, you. You're it's exactly the how you put the thing on. I thought but like you meant, just go. They just stick on. I thought you meant that it was the opposite. You're like giving somebody the prescription, like to slide onto the lens. Oh, I thought no, the no, 3D no, no. part. No, that's a yeah, good yeah. Idea. See, that's, that's a, a you a heard it here idea. first. That's a good idea. I, yeah. I fucking invented that shit. Yeah. You literally just stick it on, and then you can, at the end of the movie, just peel it off. No, I like it. it. Doesn't I take, like that idea. You know what I mean? And it doesn't ruin your glasses and all that. It's a good oh, idea. you put the glasses on, and especially like these are bigger framed, and it's just I'm sitting there, I'm just like I don't know what the fuck's going on. Glasses are falling on top of each other. I'm just yeah. like okay, like this yeah, I don't know. It's bad. It's hard with glasses. It was mo- the most difficult thing for me. Okay, so let's get into my take, and then we'll get into your. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Um. After critical analysis of the film, I okay. think I, I personally think visually, mm-hmm. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. Visually, yep. it was a, okay. Yeah, visually, I thought it was very like co- colors and like co- like color grading was really nice, and the way things were lit were really really nice. Lighting was fantastic. Um, costume design as well, I think, was pretty well done mm-hmm. in terms of Kang. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was really nice. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good things to take away from the film. Overall, it was not close to my to my favorite. Uh, yeah. Like like a lot of people say it's the, like really bad. A lot of people have said really really ne- bad things about it. But I would say like 
the best way to sum it up is mid. I, you know what? It was okay. Mid. It was an average movie. You know, it was a movie. Mid. Um, it, it was all right. The CGI. People were complaining about the CGI. Maybe I just wasn't. Maybe I was just too distracted by my fucking glasses. <laughs> but I just I didn't notice anything wonky. Um, his face. Ken's yeah. Other face, than yeah. Yeah. And that wonky. looked a little weird. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like behind the the whatever. But There's like, one shot where they get him when he's like, um, when they're in that like area with Scott and I think Cassie's there too, and his mask sort of like slowly like nanotech yeah, goes yeah. on his face. That shot was great. Yep. I thought yeah, that I shot agree. was really well done. But um, the one where he's like, like putting all of his fucking he's zapping people and he's like does it all at once. He's screaming. That was really not good. His so face did not look good at all. Here's the question. Maybe I just don't understand the character. What is that? What is he doing? Is that a well, laser beam? Is he just that, fucking beaming it's some, people? It's some fucking... Is it time? It's, is yeah. he erasing them from time? I, I think he's pruning them, if that's what... That, if that's what, what I concluded was that he's pruning them, so essentially. So, in, the, like, the... Spoilers, by the way, just letting you know. In the uh, last scene right there, when he goes on that rampage, and he, like, floats down, and he's like, oh, I'll do it myself, whatever, before all the ants come. People, He was zapping people, and they were just... Yeah, they were pruning. They yeah, were just yeah, disappeared. Yeah, gone. I they're pruning. The it same was, way the TVA prunes somebody, I think it's yeah, the same Yeah, it was like... It was like, oh, I'm just going to... It looked like all the only thing... They didn't add any special effects. It's like when you're editing and you have that timeline of that person on the thing, and then it just ends, and the and the, the separate clip, like the layer just yeah, disappears. Yeah. That's what it looked like, and it looked really like I don't know. Great. Yeah, it was, it, was, I don't it, know. it was weird. It was very interesting, right? Um, Storyline-wise, I think personally that this is the first page to the first chapter, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, this was the first page. This was the introduction. This was the character development. This is how we get introduced to everyone. Uh, the whole dynasty, everything. And, again, we're not we're steering away from spoilers. I'm not going to really spoil much. But the thing that I preach about this is that I could have gotten away with just watching the post-credits and the ending of the film. Yeah, like, like I could have watched the, ten, the last 10 minutes, the post-credits, and th- and that's it. I I, I didn't need yeah. everything in between. I, it was I fun. I had a good time. I had a good time watching it. But I think it would have been a better movie if they introduced exactly what you say, where they introduced him um, at the end, kind of like they did Thanos. Whatever. Yeah. But like that. But in the in the way that the post credit scene did, like changed nothing. Yeah. Like hit the, him. How how can I explain this thought without spoiling it? That's the question. Like okay, I'll put a timestamp. We're gonna put timestamp. Yeah, you can spoil. The entire movie was just so like like irrelevant like his whole plot point and character is just irrelevant because it's just like they beat him so easy right he like he, he he's like oh if he's like zapping people out of existence like literally zapping people out of existence and then he had a fist fight with ant-man it's like what the fuck is going like yeah, what are you yeah, doing? and then he like loses how do you lose that fist there's fight? A, yeah there's a lot of um not continuity but a lot of like logical errors in the storyline i don't yeah. know how to put it I, don't yeah. know. I think it's like just logic like it doesn't make much sense some of the things right like He's supposed to be this all almighty power, and he he got beat to fucking Hank Pym and ants. You know, I mean, like the giant ants is like the swarm thing. Yeah, but so he, that makes sense. Exactly, exactly. But, but he made it out of those ants. Yeah, and then lost in a fist fight or yeah, lost to fucking like Cassie or what or thing. Like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like a lot of like things are, don't make a lot of sense, and it it makes you question what's gonna happen with. This guy in the future, I get it. There was the whole the second post credit shows like this whole army and things like that. But what's gonna happen if we're if he's so easy to take down before Thanos? They made Thanos look like what he was like a god, mm-hmm. like, but, like cannot be yeah. unstop, like not stopped, like cannot be touched. Now, what I think that is is the 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 dynasty is what that represents, and yeah. he who remains and. Um, uh oh my god Kang the Conqueror and He Who Remains are not the most powerful in the Marvel MCM if that makes sense yeah okay I don't know if they are in the comics I don't know but I know that in like in the films I think Immort like at the end Immortus um Pharaoh Ramatut and there's the other one but it hasn't been confirmed who it is yet because it's not Iron Lad it's like another guy mm. or whatever the fuck his name is and then there was Victor Timely as well yeah yeah Victor Timely. So th- those are like supposedly the most powerful, and then there's a couple other variants. But I think those are going to be what Kang, what we think Kang is going to be. 
Yeah. In terms of like power and strength. And he's supposed to be this next level human being that's going to be just fuck everyone and uh, kill all the Avengers and all that shit, right? Like they played him up as that. And then this this version of him, they like banished him. Like that's the whole point of the movie. They banished him and then like whatever. Yeah. And so it's like he should have been weaker technically because they banished yeah. him and whatever. But then it's like he got his power back. He built this entire civilization from nothing. And then the only thing he was missing was his core, power core for his ship. And so it's like, okay, so, like, this guy's not actually weak then. Like, what happened? Like, whatever. Yeah. But then he got beat in a fist fight, and you're like, oh, that's kind of random, but okay. Like. Yeah, if he's, that's what, I'm, that's what I was saying. Like, going, like, that adds to my, what I just said. It was like, yeah. if he got exiled, that means he's the fucking, he's the shittiest one. Yeah, exactly. If he was, bit, if he was able to be exiled by the rest of them, that means that they're the most powerful. Yeah. And I think Immortus is probably the most powerful. I think that's what it is. I'm not too sure. So here's a question. Okay. So I I saw I have no so before this I didn't I didn't again don't look at the comics don't I don't care for it like whatever I just enjoying the movies from the movie movie perspective I looked I was in the theater and I looked over at my buddy and I went oh it's the Council of Ricks and then he goes that's what Literally. it's based on he's like Literally. that's what it's based on like that's what that's the thing and I went is it really because like that's hilarious so like I asked the question I said oh wait that's what the Council of Ricks is, is based, based on? on yeah apparently no way okay, according to my buddy. Uh, that's what the, that's, that's what that cap. is. That, that's what that no is. Way. I gotta look that out. I don't know. I don't know. That's hol- it's hilarious. That's a great though, analogy, though, right? But it, okay, so that would make sense. So even if it's not, that's that's hilarious though, because yeah. it's like okay, now which which Kang is the Kang is Kang? Like which Rick is the Rickest Rick? You know? Yeah, I'd probably say Mortis, but then it's hard. But the thing is, they're not all the same. No, they're not. Well, no, all the Ricks all weren't the, Rick- the same either. All the Ricks kind of had yeah, the same, that's like, true. they were similar enough. They're all kind of. Like, they're Ricks, but, like, they all did different shit. Yeah, that's a crazy analogy. I, I never heard of that. I No, here's the thing. Like, if that's true and he's right, like, that's fucking wild. Yeah, it is and wild. And I'm like, oh, that's that's funny, but I don't Even know. Even though no season seven, that is wild. No, no, season seven. Oh, they said, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're still. I didn't, I didn't see it. They're, they're continuing with production. I thought it was, they're like, still... five episodes that they had in the bank or something no, like that. No, no, it's, it's, uh, they're continuing with season seven and that's a know, difficult man they also released no they so they also came out with this, this is now we're going sidetrack we also came out with a statement saying that justin roiland had no creative direction on rick and morty whatsoever yeah apparently he just voiced the characters he literally just voiced rick he, and morty yeah up and until, like, like everyone that sounds i like think up morty. until six uh season <clears throat> two like season two onwards or something like that like rick and morty was no longer like justin roiland's like creative child essentially like he had no input on it anymore so uh. Which makes me feel better. I mean, that was the point of that Yeah, statement. but still, the voices is the, is the hardest thing to replace, is it not? No, you can find people. Like, look uh, how many people online. Like, there's, there's so many yeah, people. Yeah, there's good, but I Sean don't know. Sean Kelly. Go look at his his TikTok after. Yeah. He, they, I swear to God. So, like, I was just... You know when you're scrolling through TikTok and you got, like, tunnel vision on just, like, the random, like, middle of the screen type whatever. Yeah, you yeah. don't even see the text. I was... Wa- and Rick and Morty clips come up all the time. Yeah. It's not like you haven't seen them. I'm fucking scrolling and there's one video on his account that he reposted or somebody reposted and put Sean Kelly's impressions of the scenes over top of the actual scenes that were animated. I was not able to tell the difference until I scrolled. I scrolled and I went, wait a minute. And I went, I went back and read it and I went, holy fuck. Like that's wild. Yeah. I actually, I can find it and show yeah, you. No, I'll, I'll look, like, I'll look through it. There's yeah. some, there's some people that are really good, but like, fuck to get like exactly. It's good. Like, Another guy I was looking at, I was watching a um, GQ special on or whatever, his YouTube video. Like, Seth MacFarlane would all, would be, like, impossible to replace. You know what I mean? There's episodes of... Okay, so people don't give them enough credit. Voice actors for animated series are some of the most talented people on the planet. And he plays, like, three of them. Have you ever heard of Deep Bradley Baker? No. Deep Bradley Baker voiced every single clone in the Clone Wars. Like, animated Holy shit. show. And, like, I'm pretty sure... But there has to be upwards of like a hundred different clones that he does, and he has individual voices for. Yeah, that's with your, personalities. Your, yeah, you're and there's episodes like there's episodes of him just talking to himself the entire time. Like Seth MacFarlane has that too, where he has portions of clips where he's him and he's, Stewie will be like the whole episode. Him, him Brian, Stewie, and Quagmire. They're and all voice, they're all yeah. Uh, that's what I mean. Like he, he's yeah. voicing them all, so it's just him the entire episode. Well, imagine that's your job. Like there's seven seasons of the Clone Wars, and then plus there's two seasons of the bad batch and some other animated stuff and video game and that's just the one person yeah that's one person for every single character yeah but that, like that's when like i guess your other the other departments are involved in you gotta just fall off if yeah. you're voice acting for like literally the whole 
episode, every episode, yeah. everything else you do has to fall off because he was like the creator, the the animator that like he probably did all the hats at one point. Well, yeah, Seth, he doesn't do it anymore for Family Guy. Definitely not. No, he doesn't. He it's been a while yeah, since I he know. hasn't like creatively worked for Family Guy. He only does voices. Voices, now yeah, I know. Because it's like, but there was definitely a time where he had to say like. I can't do the writing and this and that and this and then because it definitely got too big. Did you or... see the interview with um, oh, fuck who? I don't remember who the interviewer was, but it was like it was a couch with him on it. Um, Tom Cruise was on it. Oh, sure. Um, fuck who else? So there was a another girl, a super talented, super talented actor. Anyway, and so um. He was literally talking about exactly this, where he's like, oh, I'm the voices of all these people. And then he was doing the impressions. He's like, yeah. And one of the questions he got was, oh, what is it like being the director of yourself? And so he's like, I would literally say a line. And he'd be like, hey, Stewie. And then he'd walk out of the yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'd t- take his hat I've off. I've seen this. It's that British talk show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlize Theron, Emily Blunt, Tom Cruise, and Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, there it is. And Coldplay. Yeah. And uh, so he's like, I'd have to just go line by line, take it off, and then like... Take put my director's hat on and then listen to myself as a different person, and it's just like that's wild. Yeah, he said he uh, in the in, uh, the interview that I watched, he said it's that like voicing Peter Quagmire, Stewie, and Brian is like flicking on and off a light switch for yeah. him now. Now yeah. that he's gotten so good at it, it's almost like he turns into a different person for like you're saying a little bit of time goes out, changes again. But it, the thing for me is. I'd love to see how the process is done, whether they do the entire episode or they do, like, all of Stewie's lines, then all of Brian's lines, then all of, you know what I mean? Or yeah, they do yeah. it, like, in order. Like, it's you, you start with Peter, then you go to Lois. But I think that's that how they do it. That interview was super old. Like, that was probably, like, seven or eight years ago. And what I understood from that was literally he's, like, he reads a line and then he goes to goes to listen to it. And then he'll read the next line. And if it switches from Brian to Stewie, let's say, then he'll just switch. And then he'll continue. Or, but he's like, oh, at a table read where all everyone's sitting together, he's literally like sitting there. And he's like, you know, he has to read Peter and then a, a, a line from Brian and then a line from Stewie and then yeah, back to yeah, Peter. Yeah. Like he has to swap on the fly like that over and over again. But it's I like, think that's how they do it. I think now yeah. that, that he's the voice actor and he doesn't have any involvement back behind the, like out of the booth, I think they all are in the booth together or they're in like separate individual booths, yeah. or whatever. But they hear each other and it's like, because you need that for, I guess, comedic timing. I think that's super important. Yeah, yeah, comedic timing is super important. That's, that's probably the other exactly thing. That's the other thing people were scared of for, like, people can do Rick, and then some people can do Morty. Sean Kelly can do both, right? So he's, like, one of the few people who can do both that I've seen anyway. But, like, some people can do a really, really good Morty, and then some people can do a really, really good Rick, and then he, they're sitting there like, oh, like, what about the timing and, and the expression of their voice and, like, that kind of stuff. Like, it's like, oh, you can, you can sound like Morty, sure. Or you can sound like Rick, sure. But can you speak like Rick? And can you speak like Morty? Can you yeah. laugh like them and scream like them? And can you like articulate your voice like they do? It's like it's. it's I know it's hard. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Who do you th- who do you think is the most iconic cartoon character? Iconic, uh, Bugs Bunny. Oh, I would. I wasn't even going that route. Yeah, I know where you were going, but okay. I, like, how about I say? Time is how about like, I say? Bugs Bunny. Yeah, that's a. Good or one. no, I lied. Sorry, it's Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse is the most iconic character of all time. And Definitely. then it's Bugs Bunny. Okay, what about adult animation? Adult animation, um, I'm. It has to be Peter Griffin. Fuck. It has to be Peter Griffin. I was gonna debate you. I'm not gonna say Peter Griffin too, obviously. It but has to be. I think it's a toss. Or I don't Homer think it's, Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only two that I was gonna say. Can't be Rick. No, Can't, it's too new. Very new. It's way Park. too new. South Park, you do Eric Cartman, but not not as much as, not as much as yeah. thing. Right. Like all the characters are. You know, yeah, like it's, they're all equals, but it's either Homer, American Dad, definitely not. No, uh, what's his name? Stan, 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 right? Definitely not. You could argue, um, Hank, Hank from, from uh, King of the Hill, yeah, from King of the that's Hill. That's what I would say, them three, yeah, that's probably like the uh, that's say, in that order. One. My personal order, I'd probably say Peter, then Homer, then Hank. I agree, I agree with that statement, but most people would probably say Homer, Peter, Hank. Yeah, probably. Because apparently, so he said, even said it that like the Simpsons sort of inspired the foundation of Family Guy. Yeah. Like it inspired, obviously, they've been along for way longer. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many more seasons. I think it's like 10 now, or they have, they've stopped, whatever. But he said that inspired Family Guy. And um, that's such a shit thing to hear as from a Family Guy diehard perspective. 
because it's always been like Simpsons or the rival. Everyone's trying to say the Simpsons are better. It's always Family Guy versus the Simpsons, whatever. And now it's like, okay, you you're inspired by the Simpsons. Like we, we that's an L. That's an L for us. I I would say like the biggest thing though is if you're looking at in between the Simpsons and and Family Guy, right? It's like I only think Family Guy is now more popular because of the the way the show is. It's an adult show when the Simpsons. And I think it's I think it's less filtered. That's what I mean. Yeah. And so the Simpsons is more like, you know, you're chilling, whatever, like yeah. you're hanging out, and then like all Jerry of a sudden, Seinfeld humor versus like yeah, and yeah, then all of a sudden Bilber. like you know fucking Stewie's trying to kill Lois, and you're like what? The or fuck? they make like a racist joke or a yeah, homophobic yeah, joke. Like, I think that's what makes it. That's separation. why. So it's like yeah. that. It gives it that little like kick at the end because that's where I think it takes it. Or else Homer Simpson would be. It's like neck and neck. Yeah. yeah it's exactly. Um, I wanted to move into what we're gonna talk about next. Uh, okay, so have you also before I m- move into we keep in f- film and TV? Have you watched the newest Last of Us episode? Not yet. No, I'll, pr- I'll give you a preview because those who haven't watched it, it came out what like cu- like a couple days ago. It came out on Sunday. Yeah, I just haven't came out. Co- yeah, two, th- yeah. four, or five days ago. Um, I gotta say that the the theme and the way they go, like with the way each episode has been so far, there's been one episode that's kept me that. Not kept me, but has been entertaining the entire hour, mm-hmm. right? The way they're trending is that the like seventy percent, first seventy percent of the episode is sort of boring. Very a lot of character development again, like just story progresses, a lot of traveling, a lot of scavenging, a lot of you know, like you know the drill. Mm-hmm. Um, sometime in the middle of the episode, there's some event, maybe something interesting happens, mm-hmm. and then. The the like the climax and like cliffhanger for the next one. Kind cliffhanger of, yeah. is at the end. Exactly. Um, this is the and the same thing happens in this episode. This is the Tommy episode, right? Yes. Yeah. I, He's like, in the I, thumbnail, so yeah, it's that's I no mean, spoiler. No, it's I, I know it's um I kind of figured like this is where the this should be I like as I'm watching the episodes I'm vaguely remembering the game and so it's like oh I know what's I do I couldn't recall it at any point in time over the last if you asked me like three months ago to recall any sort of event from the last of us i wouldn't be able to tell you but as i'm watching the show it's like i feel like i remember what i feel like happens and like for example i'm like oh spoilers for the last episode i'm like oh he got bit um he ends up shooting sam and i'm like doesn't he put the gun to his head and kill himself and i'm like oh yeah he did do that like that i remember him yeah. doing that and then he i'm like doesn't this isn't this what happens like i don't think and then he did let, it let and i'm like something. oh yeah yeah let me tell you something for those who haven't watched episode 6 as well episode 6 released something in my brain mm. the set design i don't know what i don't know how the fuck i actually don't know how it is so similar matt to the game yeah i know no 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 matt matt you don't know you don't, you don't know it is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. They're so good. I watched. So there's good. there's one part. Um, I don't want to spoil it because I want you to just witness it. Mm-hmm. There's one part where they're literally in the exact same scene with the exact same framing with the exa- like everything looks the same. And that and the reason I know this is because this was the only part of The Last of Us that I like rev- like vividly remembered. Yeah. Like, like, lit- like, I could draw a picture of how good I remember from the game. Yeah. And they go into the same scene, and I was like, oh my God, oh my. And I was, my parents were like, what the fuck is going on? Why are you, why are you freaking out? I was like, this is, this is the same. Like, it's exactly, like, this is exactly how it feels like I had a controller in my hand. Like, yeah, it was yeah. so close. Like, it was ridiculous. But no, episode six, you definitely have to watch. It okay, was definitely, good. I mean, that's, that's definitely going to be like a. You'll, like you'll a, probably watch it by this, by the time this is out, yeah. for sure. The, yeah. um, do you think, okay, just a really quick question because we're on it. Do you think that this is going to inspire more people to pick up a controller and play these games? No. No? No. Why? I don't know. I don't think I don't think it's I, I think it people knowing that it has to do with video games is not going to it's not going to inspire games. It's kind of just like I'm watching the show because I enjoy it. Okay. I don't think I think I think people make that disconnect. If they haven't already played the game, they don't they're not going to go back and play it. They don't really care for it and stuff like that because those who don't game or haven't gamed before aren't gonna say watch this and be like, oh, I should pick up gaming. This is this looks cool. Let me right? reiterate the question. Yeah. This is the scenario. The scenario is, I'm presenting to you. Girlfriend hates hates video games, and her and the boyfriend loves video games, and he's been trying to make her play for years. Then the series comes out, and um, maybe you'll get scenarios like that. Maybe the series comes out. Now they start watching it, and she's like, oh, this is fucking amazing. And then he goes. This is what I've been trying to tell you about video games for the last however long. 
and then will it inspire her to a maybe even play or watch him play like these story yeah, driven games maybe Not like fucking call maybe it, like, whatever but it definitely like, brings more awareness to video games in general that's what i mean like does it yeah. create new or do you think it's just like oh like it's only a show whatever because I, I, I think i think a bit of both i think a bit of both think about all the stories that like you like lego star wars Okay, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a fucking Lego set now. I gotta watch. <laughs> no, think about all the stories you experienced playing games that people yeah. didn't, right? Like, there's a yeah, whole bunch true. of good ones. Um, it's like watching films. That's what it is. It's like interactive films. Yep. So. And eventually, VR, I think, and AR will be, we'll get to a point where that's sort of the norm. PlayStation VR, like the new one that just, like, PR2. V- PlayStation VR2, sorry. Or, like, whatever. Those those games, they're really fun. I've tried it. It's a lot of fun. It's yeah. whatever. But they just look like PlayStation 2 games. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, like, it's whatever. Yeah, they're but, not going to be great. Uh, no, but they're fun. It's fun as fuck. Have you, I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it's, oh, I've like... I've seen it. I've seen gameplay. I haven't, I haven't actually tried it. If though. you put a, if you put the headset on your head and, like... Okay, first and foremost, just the, big, the biggest, like, whatever. The amount of sweat that will protrude oh, yeah. from your forehead. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I bet. It is, like... I bet. No, it's like being in a sauna. I was dripping... Like literally, I'm like, why? Why am I sweating? I'm playing golf on VR right now. Why am I? <laughs> why am I drooping in golf. sweat? Like, no, yeah, I, like I'm standing here. Like, yeah, it's, but it's the future, I think for sure. I think it's definitely in the future. Um, it, awareness, yes, but to say that everyone's gonna pick up a, a controller after. One thing I do want to talk about. Hmm. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get too deep into it, but uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Cool. <laughs> that looks fantastic. It looks amazing. I, I'm. Are you a Harry Potter fan? No, I've never watched the films. Uh, neither have I. You uh, believe that? I've run a fucking sci-fi. We we run a sci-fi podcast. And we haven't watched the fucking the films, but yeah. Let us know in the comments if you want us to do a like a, a watch together slash reaction video on our YouTube channel. We'll I don't know the the, um, the things are good, man. Like I watch the reviews really and streams and stuff, dude. It's it's unreal. Looks like, amazing. Like, from what I the little like the little bit I've seen, it like plays kind of like uh, a Dark Souls or like a. Like whatever game where you have to like you're you're doing your spells you're attacking and you like dodge and weave and like yeah um, I like those kinds of games so I'm all for it um, yeah no for real I, I think it's good I think it's awesome and the, it's like really well thought out too the, the gameplay looked fucking sick yeah they did a really good job on it yeah um, one thing I did want to talk about was it happened over the weekend or yeah over the weekend not the All Star not the NBA All Star weekend itself which was interesting which is interesting but. More so the game and the slam dunk competition. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you're not too well versed with fucking NBA, but I've been hearing a little bit about it. The one thing I want to get um, just off quickly is that like I don't know if you've seen a lot of comparison between LeBron and Jordan since he passed that the, the all time NBA scoring record. I've seen I've if I've dabbled a little bit. People yeah. are going back and forth, and this like argument has started. I fucking Matt, I hate it. I'm gonna tell you why I hate it. The same way Messi and Ronaldo are compared, mm. the same way Messi and Maradona are compared, the same way every great is compared with another great from an old generation, people need to stop spending so much time trying to figure out who's better and just enjoy what they're doing. A lot of people say that with like Messi and Ronaldo, Messi and Pele, Pele and Ronaldo, uh, Jordan and Kobe and my, uh, LeBron and Kobe and LeBron and Jordan and all all the sports Tiger and yeah, Tiger, Roy McIlroy yeah. for a time like like all these people like compared yeah. to golf but compared to everything right there's always this stupid comparison between the great the greats that did it and the and the greats that are doing it now and I think it just not that it tarnishes it but like all this questioning all this fucking debate and all this shit it just r- sort of ruins the moment. It does. And, I like, agree with that. I, like, don't take away from what LeBron's doing now. Like, LeBron's a great. He's going to go down as one of the greats. Like, whether he's the greatest or not, it's who's to fucking say? They didn't play at the same time. It's not like LeBron beat Jordan in, like, seven playoff runs in a row. Like, you know, like, there's no actual evidence yeah. there. It's like, and the same thing goes with, um, the same thing goes with any sport because you, there's never, like, direct comparison where you can say they played each other this many times and they it's they're all the most of the time there's team sports yep. golf is a little is a little better they do it all the time with tiger woods and the old basically him versus the entire old field from like 50 yeah. like it's just the whole thing is like oh if they played rounds together now this and that and it's technology uh, arnold different. palmer and tiger and like, and, the, and jack nicholas or jack so nicholas no jack nicholas and and it's just like equipment's different and the balls are different. The courses are longer or shorter or this and that, whatever. Yeah, the, cl- like, the guys, clubs are more efficient. The ball, guys, like, relax. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not. 
This isn't if if Tiger, Tiger wins three majors, back to what's that called? Like a fucking triple double? What's it called? If he wins the, the Masters, the U.S. Open, the U.S. Open, if and he the, wins like four, like the like all yeah. four majors, is it a quadruple like crown the, or some shit? It's like their, it's like the career. Dump, like slam dunk essentially yeah okay so the, the if he's if he's fucking doing that shit or he's yeah. winning three majors in a year whatever like just to fucking enjoy it you know like just enjoy it instead of worrying about oh is he better is he better than uh, jack nicholas or uh, fucking arnold palmer last year when scotty Scheffler won the masters it was like 54 days or 56 days he won four events Holy shit! In Fifty-four or fifty-six days. Or well, you're just you're just hot at that point. Yeah, right? he, he's, he's just fucking he's hot. Wild. He turned world number one. He four putted the fucking eighteenth hole on the Masters to win. Four putted, by the way. Just <laughs> fucking god. Okay, I no, no, but it, no, but it, the, anyway. Um, but I mean, people will always make comments like that where it's like, oh yeah, but him and then Tiger, blah blah. blah. It's like, okay, so guys, like. Yeah, I know people. That, that's you know. that's the one thing that bothers me the most. I've to say I've never I've never said anything about it is a complete lie because I've definitely had debates where it's like who's Jordan or LeBron or fucking Curry or thing or like who's the best three point shooter ever Curry or Ray Allen or yeah. um, oh my god what the fuck is his name anyways I'm blanking but like the 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 biggest thing for me is just get away from the debate and just enjoy enjoy I've, the I, moment yeah yeah and i've heard that the most again through M- messi and ronaldo like that's the biggest one that that we've been alive for that like has really been like, oh also uh nadal and federer yeah holy yeah. fuck man that was yeah, like that's but that's one. so different do you want to know why that's so different because that's one to one like one on one head on competition yeah that's not a team sport. That's not fucking, I'm playing with this coach. I'm playing with it. It's a one-on-one fucking head-to-head team sport. That's when you can say they've played each other this many times and he's clearly better. Yeah. You know I mean, that I mean? makes sense. Like it's a, that they makes have, complete sense. There's statistics there. Yeah. You know, like, but you and, can't compare fucking Nadal to an old tennis player. Because, the, the, because the parameters players. of the statistics are different. You always have to. It's always, all, yeah. The context needs to be there. And that's. What it, that's that's just the way it goes. Like you need the context of this of the statistics. Holy muffle. Yeah, and they need to be, <laughs> and they it needs to make sense. Like if the comparison doesn't make sense, then you can't compare it. It's like sorry, it is yeah, what it is. It yeah, just, you know exactly. Um, last, I wanted to get into Matt. You're not familiar, I know, but Matt McClung came up from the D League. This guy came up from the D League and won the slam dunk competition. I'm not okay. Saying. Okay. Literally, this guy is the the child, the face of everyone's dreams. Okay, that you come up from the D League and you and no prospect, and then you get signed to the the Sixers. Mm-hmm. He gets signed to the Sixers and wins the slam dunk comp. His annual salary was one hundred six thousand dollars a year. Mm. That's how much he makes. You know how much he made at the dunk contest? Probably like a million dollars. Oh, okay. Now my number's gonna sound like shit, but <laughs> he made like a hundred thousand dollars. He almost made okay, his well, entire like- salary in. Six hours. I mean, yeah, it's still not a small number. You know what I mean? It's six hours, you know, like. And that guy's living the dream. I want to shout him out because, like, that's crazy. That's, like, unreal. That was, like, the highlight for me. Seeing that guy come up and everyone saying, no one knows your name. Get everyone to know your name. Like, let's do this. Let's run it. And he, and he showed out. Absolutely showed out. Um, okay, so you, you've seen it. You've seen, obviously, the, um, the Chinese spy balloon over yeah. the U.S. Yeah. I think recently, not too long ago, that there was – like throughout the course of a year or less than a year, there was five unidentified objects that got shot down over North America. It, it all happened one in Alaska. Like the last three months. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think it was even sooner. One was in Alaska. Alaska, Yukon. In, uh, yeah, one was in uh, over um, Lake Huron. Yeah, which is fucking right there. Yeah, which yeah. is right there. And then there's two more. I don't know where they were sh- where they were shot down from, or one one or two more. But like, what I want. First of all, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? And the first thing that everybody said was that they weren't. They're not aliens. Okay, cool. Okay, dub. Caught it. We caught the dub. Not aliens. First of all, I don't need that in my life. Second of all, um, so many politics involved of like what the fuck is going on. First, this this is more U.S. stuff with like Biden and whatever. But I don't want to get. No, it affects stuff. us too. I mean, like, it definitely affects listen, us. But it was, like, again, there was one over our country, and the Americans. Yeah. And you have to understand the American an American fighter jet shot a balloon down over. Our area, yeah, so like, or our territories, yeah. You know, um, I don't know. I think it's weird. First of all, I don't know what like, what intel can you get from a balloon that you can't get from like just sending a, a fucking person? 
I mean, you're just it's just a, you're just looking, right? Like you're looking over. But like, what do you look? It's supposed at? to go for over pat. Like it can fly over Area Fifty One, for example. That's the first over. thing. That's the first thing I thought when I, when they said they it's, shot it down. I was like, the only place I'd want to go is Area Fifty One. Not like not specific, like not really. Like if you're now okay, how likely this is? Non-zero chance, but absolutely like super, super, super not practical and in the slightest at all. If you have an aerial view of the terrain. And all of the military points and things and mountains and this and that, whatever. Because it's public knowledge, but at the same time, you would want, like, a, a satellite image of something. Okay. Um, of military bases. If you're trying to invade a country. Not to say that China's going to invade the States. That's fucking the dumbest thing I've ever, you know. Yeah. But, like, think about that. Like, why wouldn't you want that kind of information just to have in Yeah, back and it's fucking sketchy, man. You know? It's and sketchy. Think about where it went. It went over. It came over throughout Canada. Down towards the states. I mean, you're, it's just the fucking most random shit ever. Yeah, it's very sketchy. People were shooting at it though. Like yeah, shooting yeah, at it. People were fucking shooting at it. Yeah, it probably had some holes for sure. Uh, no, if you're floating at forty thousand uh, feet in the air, sixty thousand, bro. If you're that's floating fucking at fucking impossible. First to and hit. foremost, you know how, how high a plane flies on 30, average? Thirty thousand feet. Thirty, forty thousand feet. Yeah. Okay, so it, uh, you think a bullet's gonna travel sixty thousand feet in the air? Yeah, Think that's about true. what you're doing. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I, it would just fucking fly up and... I wonder. I, you I'm just killed your up. fucking neighbor's cow. Like, you know. I'm, I'm going to look it up. You know in Modern Warfare 2? Remember remember back in the Modern Warfare 2 days where you fucking nade across the map at the beginning? Okay. That's what that is. How it fucking <laughs> arcs over the map. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck were you thinking was going to happen? Like, why? Stop fucking shoot. You're, why? 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 That doesn't matter. I want to see how long... I want to see... It. Bro, we're getting back into physics. Because if we're... I'm looking this up. If you shoot a bullet straight in the air... Okay. A bullet fired straight up with no wind might reach a height of 10,000 feet. About 3 kilometers. But will come back down at only... Come back down at only around 150 miles per hour. Just 10% of the speed. And with only 1% of the energy that it originally fired. Yeah. With. Yeah. That makes sense. 150 sense. miles an hour, Matt. Yeah. That's still fast as fuck. Yeah, you're still going to get fucking domed in the skull if it hits you. If you're underneath, you're done. Yeah, you're still going to get fucked. It's not a, you know, whatever. But you have to think of all the air resistance out. And then it creates the parabola, like that arc. And then it and then it starts falling. And then yeah. the air resistance falling back and it slows it down like crazy. Yeah, 10%, Plus, 10 yeah. of the speed. But still 150 miles an hour. Imagine, yeah, you're still going to get car, domed. That's, like, that's get... like 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah, you're still going to get fucking... You get domed your, your head, dome like split fucked. in half. Yeah. yeah, that's unlucky. Think of how. Okay, first of all, shooting at it is the stupidest thing. Then now that that's I just what I'm saying because you. you definitely can't hit a plane. That's what I'm saying. Imagine to you. that. So imagine you're look. I don't understand. Like you got whatever the <laughs> fuck you got. Okay, you got a handgun, a shotgun, a fucking. Uh, yeah, because you know? if you grab, if you have a gun, if you're a gun owner. Either you're educated enough to know that it's not going to hit fucking 60,000 feet or you're just, you feel like you're, you're king shit and you just think that this, this can shoot anything anywhere. It's my freedom rifle. Any, yeah. Anything, it's my freedom rifle. Yeah. Anything yeah. that I see with my eyes, I can shoot and it can hit. That's crazy though. We're not going to get into the, we're not going to get into a topic of gun, de- gun, gonna, gun, we're gonna gun not, violence. We're not, <laughs> gun laws. We're not, we're not getting, we're not starting no, that. No, no, no. We're not starting that topic. Absolutely We're gonna be crazy not. though, bro. There's so there's just don't fucking. Shoot we don't talk things. about politics here on the, no. on the RTF podcast. We keep it to film, TV, and entertainment. However, if there's don't a shoot if there's a World War balloons. Three, if there's a World War Three, Matt. Thank God I'm fat. Yeah, so they less. don't want me, bro. They don't want me. They don't want this guy, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. World not. War Three. They don't want this guy there. I'm, I'm staying <laughs> home, bro. I'm staying home. I use my, my fucking, fucking ankles busted up. Yeah, like my right knees fucked. I'm. I'm 600 pounds. Like, it's not... They knock on my door and I'll be like, okay, you, you stay here, sir. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, we don't need you. Yep. Or I hit the gym and I turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger and I'm and I'm ripped. I'll I'll purposely not go to the gym. If I fucking... <laughs> if there's a I'm mocking. I'm... Mo- I'm... DoorDash, I'm the new number one fucking uh, user. I'm the new mascot for McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I am Ronald McDonald if, they, if World War Three goes down. No, no one's taking me. You know Ronald McDonald's doesn't... Ronald McDonald doesn't exist anymore. He's not the mascot. Who's the mascot? They Grimace? don't have one. You know why? Back in what? 2016, you remember the fucking clowns? Ronald McDonald just disappeared. Ronald McDonald doesn't exist. When's the last time you've seen fucking Ronald McDonald? 
since I maybe when I was like six or something. Yeah, yeah. But 2016, remember the 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 clown fiasco of people dressing up as clowns and like murdering people? They fucking can Ronald fucking Ronald McDonald. It says that it's Ronald McDonald, but no, like he's fucking. Nah, maybe that was just TikTok fucking whatever. Is a clown that character. Grimace, Birdie the Early Bird, Uncle Old Grimacy, the McNugget Buddies, I Am Hungry, <laughs> the McNugget Buddies. That's us. We're the McNugget Buddies. <laughs> We're the, that's this episode's called. This episode's called the McNugget Buddies. <laughs> Matt, I and look I, up a Matt and I are going to go crush 60 nuggets after this. Bro, what is this? What is this call? What do they look like, the yeah. McNugget Buddies? They're just if they're just you. nuggets? They're just you and me. Bro, we're the McNugget Buddies. Oh, That's what we fuck. are. We're changing our thing. Oh, my God. They're so cute. <laughs> Hold on. I'll show you a picture. Let me see. Can you see? No. Before it unplugs. I can't see that. Oh, that's hilarious. They're like little guys. They're like, there? Yeah, they're like little Mr. Potato Man. Uh <laughs> They're like little Mr. Potato. Well, we're, we're the McNugget we're buddies. We're definitely the McNugget buddies. We are 100 percent the McNuggies. Um, <laughs> McNuggies. <laughs> we're the McNuggies buddies. <laughs> oh fuck. McNuggies. Okay. You know what yeah. the problem is? I really want McDonald's nuggets now. I know they're cra- like I'm that- craving them. I'm definitely craving them. I haven't had McDonald's in time. Fuck. I gotta go to the gym. Yeah. Fuck. I go to the gym after this. Um, fuck sakes. I think I think we're done there for today, Matt. I- yeah, hell, so. hell yeah, hell yeah! It's very cool. We're gonna go back into the frozen tundra and uh, fucking shovel the snow. Yep, oh, it's super unfortunate. It's welcome, shit, welcome yeah. to Canada. Yep, welcome to fucking Canada. Anyway, great episode today. Uh, Ant Man, uh, decent. Uh, what else? With Last that's of the, Us. That's to conclude. Yeah, Last decent. of Us mid. Pretty uh, no, Last of Us pretty good. Or yeah. Ant Man was whatever. Mid. Uh, it was it was alright. I'll give it an okay. Uh, fucking, oh yeah, let's give our rating. What do you say out of ten? Six, six, five. That's a solid rating. Six five. I was gonna say six, like eight, because I'm generous. I'm very I generous. Said it. I, I like said the way it, it looks. I'm I very said generous. It to my friend, I got ridiculed. Okay, for saying this. Can I have a little bit, just like a, like a, like a sprinkle, like a sprinkle, of just a little more seriousness in those movies? Just okay. A okay. Little we're not. We're not. We're not closing this podcast just yet. We're not closing. It. We're coming right back. Is Paul Rudd the funniest Avenger? Probably. Oh, I don't know. I don't know now. I gotta think about it. I don't know. It's either him or Ruffalo. No, it's Paul Rudd. I don't know Thor no. or Ruffalo. There's, I think, comic I mean, relief. Thor, like, he's all right. Like, you know, he does the job. He's fine. I think those are the top three. I want to see what online says. I want to see what online says. Anyway. As he's looking this up, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in today to this episode. Um, you have all been fantastic. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Follow us. St. Louis. Follow us on all our social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, you can listen to the podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, or Apple Podcasts, sorry, and all the other audio, uh, podcast audio devices, or devices, uh, platforms as well. Find us on YouTube. You can check oh out. God. You can check out our sweet merch here on YouTube. Um, link will be in the description if it goes live, and if it doesn't, just on our website. Stay on tuned. Our, on our website. Stay tuned. The merch for that. Okay, so they say that the funny. Oh, okay, I agree with this. What? The funniest considered the funniest is Drax. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I That's agree. A good one. I agree with that. Drax. But you said Avenger though. Avenger. He's a fucking Avenger. Ah, okay. He's a Guardian of the Galaxy. No. Okay. So, it, top three or let's give you top five. Top five is. Uh, Drax, Tony Stark, Shuri, who's the, L- Loki, who's... and Peter Quill. There's a lot of comic relief in the Guardians movies. Who's... We forgot about you know, that. No, no. So, but I don't, I don't consider them like Avengers. I consider like the top six Avengers, like the original like top six. It's either it's either Tony or 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 Thor. Tony's like adult comedy. Yeah, like that's what that is, and I like it. I appreciate it. Um, but like, no, Ant Man is. Just like stupid funny. Yeah, but I think Drax pulls them all the while. You know what? I who, who's the uh, who's the um, the New Zealand guy from Gar- from Thor? Oh, uh, Korg. Yeah, Korg. Korg. Yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah. my pick. That's my Korg. pick. He's not yeah. Avenger, but yeah, that's yeah, a good, that's, that's a good my one pick. Too. That's my pick. Okay, we're gonna end there for yeah, today. So, guys, that's thank good. you so much for listening. Um, again, stay tuned for those links and uh, follow us on our social media platforms. And uh, just remember, we refresh your feed so you didn't have to. And uh, take care. Matt, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Fuck. Thanks for I coming. Thank you for being here. Fuck. Man. So, kind of fuck. I don't do these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we switch it up. Uh, okay, see you later. Yeah, take it easy.
Tchau.